guys! For those of you that are new here, I am Victoria Radford, uh, the founder of Radford Beauty. And this is Amy Horax. And you're very lucky to have her today because she is, she runs all of Radford Beauty. So she's very, very busy and I coerced her to come over 20 minutes early so that we could do a video for you guys. So thank you very much for coming. We just got back from Los Angeles. It was very exciting and we were there for the LA makeup show. So it was actually Amy's first time going to- uh, To the LA one. Yes, I've LA. been to New York. Yeah. I, we went into the one in New York for packaging. Yeah, yeah. it was our first time going together. Yeah, it was first time going together, yeah. Which was 10 times better. I really wanted to bring you guys into our meetings. It's such an interesting industry, the makeup industry. It's extremely private, and I think there's a lot of intellectual property that uh, these really big manufacturers just don't want you showing. <laughs> I am very interested in helping people that would like to create their own makeup brand just maybe learning how to do that because it's still such a, like there's such a cloak, such a smoke and mirror still. Anyway, we thought we would do this at home recant of what Makeup LA was like. And now that you have Amy here, give you a few tips on uh, if you'd like to start your own makeup brand, what we would suggest, what you can expect along the bumpy, bumpy road. <laughs> so first of all, uh, what what were your first impressions of Makeup LA? It was good. I think it was really exciting to meet a lot of people that you know we haven't met in person for two years. Yeah. And instead of just seeing emails and people over video, it was really nice to meet with a lot of people, um, get introduced. I thought that was really great. Um, obviously, all the samples and being able to see all the samples new things, is my favorite. all the new things that were coming out um, were also really great. And you know, I think it is very inspiring to see all the things coming out that you can, couldn't have even imagined. Gives us, you know, Radford Beauty some inspiration. Yeah, um, for that's years. actually a really good point because most brands take between three to five years to take a concept and bring it to fruition. So when we go to these trade shows and meet with their manufacturers, the types of stuff that they're showing us is literally products from the future because that's how long it usually takes. Because we have a smaller brand and we have the agility to make decisions quicker, we can actually turn things around within a year. So a lot of the stuff you'll see from us that's new is like highly innovative and the idea is that hopefully the other brands will be able to turn them out in a few years, but we will have already done it. <laughs> That's the plan. That's the hope. <laughs> uh, so what was your favorite? What was your, like, I know that there's a few things that we're like yeah. literally sitting, we, we can't show you the names of all the manufacturers, but we're literally sitting in front of all of our new treats, yeah. all of our treats. stuff that they that they sent us home with. They give you bags and they're literally like, here you go, here's all the makeup and skincare from the future. And you yeah. walk out with this big bag and it's so exciting. And also Amy, <laughs> Amy on all of our meetings, manufacturers know how excited I get. And Amy is very organized and uh, you know, you can- I'm focused, I'm focused, focused on the end goal. <laughs> yes, I am the literal opposite. And so of course our first manufacturer is like, Victoria, I know you've been trying to make this makeup thing. And Amy's like, we're really focused on our skincare. Like we're, we're, so let's start with that. And like, you could just tell that they're like, oh, okay, well we have a lot of makeup innovations. <laughs> we got some good skincare yeah. innovations as well. So what was your, what was your favorite thing? Um, one of my favorite things was definitely this product, which I think is super oh, yeah. cool. Yes, it's very cool. Like this. Yeah, do the right. do it's the my YouTube, first, thing. It's my YouTube thing. Um, with my with my terrible nails, but yeah, so this, <laughs> it, this product is really cool. I thought it's translucent. Yeah, um, it makes your lips almost like dewy. So it's like a lip balm, but it's like in the lipstick form. You're not like putting your like finger in the pot. Yeah. Um, they are also putting SPF in there, which I think is really cool that you can make like a translucent SPF product. Yeah. Um, That's really, really hard to do if yeah. not impossible. So they were very proud of that and yeah. they should be. Yeah. Although what happens every time we say we're from Canada when we're talking about SPF? Uh, no, nobody is happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> 
SPF is super regula regulated in Canada and it's a lot different than the US and it's different than Europe and so yeah. um, it's definitely challenging to get products. It's with. more challenging, but luckily we we're very committed to this. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so yeah, this one was definitely a favorite. Yeah. Um, and I also like that it's, you know, skincare, it's a little bit of makeup, it, it, it really, you know, pushes on that like makeup skincare hybrid which yeah. we're so focused on with tint and flow. Um, another product that I'm really excited about even though it is makeup is this. That's how you know it's really good. Yeah. If Amy's excited about something that isn't skincare it's because it's really interesting here. Okay so this yeah. is another product I'm really excited about. It is a cream product but it can, it's multi-use it could be lip it could be cheek but I wish you could show it on your hand. Yeah, I know. I wish that you could come through and yes. see. You honestly, you can't imagine what this feels like. It feels like a cloud. Oh. It just feels like. And the way that it smooths out. Yeah. And we, we put this on like afterwards, obviously we took it home and we put it on our cheeks and our lips. And like yeah. through the night we were looking and just being like, oh my God, look at how it's soft. airbrush. Yeah, it's very soft, very yeah. pillowy. Yeah almost like a cotton can, like it's just so soft and pillowy. And so I was actually really surprised because I kind of went into this conference not even really wanting to talk or touch makeup and really just focus on like some of our skincare. And I came out being like, how do we maybe get this product? But it also we... does have skincare. It does have skincare it. ingredients in it for sure. And, and so... obviously like these things that they show us, it, these aren't private label companies. These are end manufacturers. So the idea of these collections is more to give you an idea. It's not to say here, here's a finished product. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, what we're seeing a is prototype. this trend. Yeah, it's like a prototype. Yeah. But you can put any ingredients you want in it. Like you can yeah, do colors. anything. Yeah, so I think that's a really good point is that when mm -hmm. we go to these trade shows, like there's almost like prototypes. So yeah. you can change formulation, you can change color, you can change, you have to, you know, give an idea for packaging. So they almost just give you this like blank sheet of like, this is a concept. Yeah. How do you want to tweak it in your specific ways? Cause yeah, it's not a private manufacturer. We just, you know, get a product like this, for example, and just yeah. slap Bradford on it. It is, you know, no. an entire process. It's kind of like step one of you want to make a cream blush mm -hmm. lip duo. Here's like a base formulation. Now let's, you know, put all the bells and whistles of what your brand stands for and what you want to do with it. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's, yeah, I think that's like a bit of a misconception too within beauty that everything is just manufactured and people just slap labels on it. It's definitely, and that's why it does take three years is yeah. you need to make all these decisions, mm -hmm. go through all this testing, see if it's stable in the packaging. There's like mm -hmm. a whole process to kind of go through. With a lot of these too, there, it's not necessarily turnkey, which, which means some manufacturers do turnkey. So you can pick the fill, which is what they call the product, and you can pick the packaging and put it together. Or with a lot of these other companies, including the one that we showed you that pretty cheek color, uh, we found, um, a, like a year ago, we found a, a package we really liked and it was kind of random from Italy and we sent it to them. We said, can you use this packaging? And it, it took like two months of testing. We had to pay for tooling. Like if you really want something, sometimes it's possible, but everything just kind of takes time. Time and money. <laughs> yes. You can have everything if you have time and money. <laughs> the possibilities are endless as long as you have time and money. Yeah. When I first started going to these shows, like the biggest one really is the one in Italy. Any, it's called Cosmoprof. So if you're serious about making makeup, I definitely suggest you book your ticket to Italy. It's not easy to even be accepted to go. They have to see all of your incorporation papers. It's very expensive. But the first year I went, which was about eight years ago, I knew I was in the right place. I didn't recognize any manufacturer names and nobody wanted to talk to me. So I knew I was definitely in the right place. And now, obviously, many years later, I have great relationships with my manufacturers. And now that I have Amy, you've been with us for almost a year now. One year anniversary in two yeah. weeks. Yeah, we'll have to do something big for that. So now that I have Amy, who's highly focused and organized, uh, we're gonna do some big things together. Yeah, no, it's gonna be great. Yeah, and I will also be taking you along for the ride. 
Um, oh my god, Adeline. Oh my god, that's gonna be so exciting. It was a very funny video of Victoria Beckham like in her lab <laughs> as if she's like the one with the with the products. I sent it to Laura, I was like, I wanna do a video like this, but you you have to wear like a hair net and like <laughs> mitts to be in a lab. Like it's very serious. I have been in the labs and it is very cool. You can imagine. They're like, Victoria, you have to stand behind the line. <laughs> you get way too excited. Yeah. Okay. So yes. This was a really great video! Yeah, no, it was great. And you're gonna see more from Amy. I'm gonna catch her in between our, our meetings. You can you can spot Amy. I'm kind of I'm on I'm on the gram. <laughs> I'm low key. Favorite. I'm low key on the gram. I'm just basically through Victoria's Instagram. Yeah, and hashtag uh, spot hashtag Amy. Hashtag spotting. <laughs> and let me know if you have any questions that to do with makeup or skincare manufacturing. I'd love to inspire or help you out some more. Bye. Bye. You have to kiss, that's the yeah. way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>